Are you ready, my man? I'm ready, man. Right. Look at that belly. Look at this stunner. Holy crap. Guys, another look at oh, oh gosh, oh my gosh. What? I almost grabbed a copperhead right here. Oh. Ow, bitch, <laughs> that was so fast. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's one right there. Oh yeah, there oh. you go. Big there's cane. one right there. Yeah. There it is, dude, within <laughs> seconds of being here, dude. I just got a baby mud snake. <gasps> oh my gosh. You are the one. You guys ready? Yeah. I am ready. Ready for this? We're ready. I I think so. I, I think I, I yeah. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it Letting is... everybody in the drive-thru know that we're vloggers. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Nobody, you kind of got to get over that point. We're going to go looking for some cool snakes. We're going to meet up with Zach. He's actually on YouTube as well. So we'll put a link for his YouTube. Wow, that is a long line. Goodness gracious. Cut. Woo! We're going to get some food, and then we're going to get on the road and go find some snakes. All right, so we are starting off the day. We're all crammed in like little sardines. <laughs> Todd and I, I've seen timbers before. You saw a video of timber from Snake Road. I got to see a timber. Um, and Burke has not seen one. So he's 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 the horridest virgin today. We're, we're going to break his... Uh... Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready, my man? All right. All righty. We are looking. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's one right there. Oh yeah, there oh. you go. Big there's cane. one right there. Big old cane. Big cane. Nice. Right. Dude, that's insane. Oh. Gorgeous. There it is, dude. Within <laughs> seconds of being here, dude. Wow. Oh, High five, dude. Ooh. Yeah, man. Holy yeah, crap. Man. We already yeah, achieved man. our goal. We can go home now. All right, dig <laughs> free. I'm kidding. Yeah. Wow, right, that so is like awesome. Said, dude, my heart is like <laughs> pounding right now. That was, let me see. Is that two minutes? Yeah, that was like two minutes. Boom, baby. That was so fast. That was one of the easiest lifers I've ever had. <laughs> there it is, our very first, or my very first canebrake rattlesnake. Our first snake got an absolutely gorgeous, absolutely stunning yellow head, and I mean, it's just, just an overall awesome animal. I'm super stoked. We're super stoked. Thank you very much, Zach. That's what I do. We're gonna get like more. Lifer already, and I'm stoked. See, that was totally crazy. I already got our first target. I already got spines in my arm. Just a classic. We are really just walking around trying to enjoy ourselves, which we are very much doing. And uh, just gonna have a good time. But there's a oh, yeah. No, cotton, no, mouth. No, cotton mouth. Yeah. Cotton mouth. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. hey, there we go. We got a nice little cotton mouth sitting here. It's a tiny little dude, as you can see. That's really cool. It's our second. Uh, pit viper of the day, which is super freaking cool. And it's a gorgeous little cotton mouth. And uh, we're gonna keep hiking around and see what else we can find, but this is the first board we flipped, so pretty cool. Dude, you're kind of stuck in there. What are you doing in a tire, man? It's not gonna do you any good. You weirdo. Anybody? Oh wait, there's one right there. Right, yeah. Dude, oh, there's a. Oh, that's a nice cane, dude. Holy. I that was a piece of trash. It looked like a piece of trash, dude. That is a freaking vibrant cane break, dude. Yeah. I'll help you. Whoops. You got it. Yeah. Wow, that is a beautiful rattlesnake. It sure is. Holy cow. 
Oh. What's up, dude? What? Yeah, yeah. I'm on board. I can, I can place it back. And like... All right, so I have a cane brake rattlesnake right in front of me. Jeff just got another cane brake rattlesnake. I got a cane brake rattlesnake earlier. This is awesome. Alrighty guys, so this was the main target right here, if you could see. This is the cane brake rattlesnake. Um, technically, now they're all timber rattlesnakes. Over the longest time out here in Louisiana, these have been known as the cane brake rattlesnake. These guys are super cool. This is our main target of the trip, and it actually turns out that we got one two minutes out of getting out of the car. We flew out here to meet up Zach. He has spent a lot of time with these snakes. We were stoked to come out here on uh, Zach's invite, and we came out and here we're looking at some wild canebrake rattlesnakes. These guys are venomous snakes. You definitely want to respect them. And although they aren't after you, they are dangerous animals. So you want to be sure to respect them, but they're not after you like most people think. We hear a lot of stories of rattlesnakes chasing people. And I mean, I know there's a lot of people that might believe that they're being chased when one looks at you and starts slithering your way. But out of thousands and thousands of rattlesnakes that I've seen, rattlesnakes that Zach has seen, Todd's have seen. All of us, we have never been chased by a rattlesnake. And most of the time, this is what's happening right here. Um, and it's a super chill snake, but I guarantee if I reach my hand down there and grab that snake, he would bite me. We are in the city and we're looking at these snakes. Most people don't know. Um, and that's because they don't go after you. And most people go without seeing them at all. So really awesome snake, super stoked to be looking at it. Um, this is the second Cambrake rattlesnake of the day. Jeffrey just found another one. He's actually photographing it over there. So we'll go take a look at that one as well. So they literally got a cambrake rattlesnake under a board I already flipped. Where are you at? Here we are, another cambrake rattlesnake. This is fantastic. As you can see, it's kind of sitting in the leaf litter right here in the shade. You can see how well it blends into this leaf litter. I'd imagine that for every one canebrake we see on this trip, we'll walk past five or six or something like that. This is so beautiful. Arizona has some great rattlesnakes, but man, timber rattlesnakes do something to my heart right here. There you go, babe. All right, back under the board you go. That's pretty sweet, thing. dude. Way cool. Oh my gosh. Nice, dude. Sweet. That was awesome. Very cool. Okay, so Zach um, just had a surprise. What the heck? Holy cow. Tree. He was just moving along here. He was just here. hanging around. Dude. Holy cow, that's beautiful. I wasn't even expecting a speck. Whoa! Little baby. That's this year's baby. Wow. They're called king snakes because they'll eat other snakes out here. That This one would probably mostly be eating skinks and lizards, which there are a lot of out here. Look at him. He's just coiling up into a ball. He's being all stupid. Bright <laughs> yellows, dark blacks. Just an absolutely stunning snake. I can't believe he was just out. He was yeah. just pulled up. He was just going. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. No, you got a speckled king? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Are you kidding me? Dude. You go, oh, there's Jeff, and he's got his camera pulled out. I'm like, oh, crap. He's got something good. All right, guys, check this out. This is a gorgeous little speckled king snake. A lifer, for sure. Oh, yeah, he does have a good little gash on him, doesn't he? It's yeah. old, old little gash. But look at that gorgeous yellow belly. And of course, this is a little, I am. He's excited. Of course, this is a little baby, but absolutely gorgeous. All right, on to the next spot. We're just gonna flip it around and see if we can't get another cane break or something underneath it. Um, we'll see. Um, and after we check out this short little spot over there, then we're gonna drive a little bit further out and uh, go to an entirely different spot. What? A timber? Did you walk it? Am I blind? Yeah, right under that log. Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. Oh, we got there it. Goes. There he goes. Well, now watch, watch where you walk, guys. Timber. Cause... Yeah. A little emaciated little fella. Yeah. Where are those mice? One thing that I found that's interesting about going to new places, meaning like different states, different biomes, different areas entirely, is you kind of get an idea of what animals are doing to stay alive in their given habitat. So in, in Arizona or at home or the rattlesnakes or the animals are doing specific things throughout the year. It's like they have a yearly routine. You know, they go out to their foraging grounds and then they and then later in the fall they have an ingress behavior 
where they are, are moving into more of a, like a hibernaculum type ground. You know, higher in the southwest is very different. Like throughout the year, you can find things just out. But at the same time, they do have their different yearly routines and things like that. So it's cool to, to be in these different areas. I mean, it's, it's winter time, right? So in even the desert, you're not really finding as many animals, but you come down south, same time of year, and stuff is just kind of out. All right, well, it's day two. We are gonna go look for some. We're, we're gonna go look for some copperheads. And <laughs> that was rude. We're gonna go look for some copperheads today. Yep, and some other snakes and stuff. Yesterday was a good day. It's early. We're tired. That's the one. For broadband. Oh, look, your stuff. Oh no, dude, that's crazy. All right, within the first few seconds of the day, we got our lifer broadbanded water snake, which is super cool. Really, really awesome snakes. Never seen them before. We have seen some water snakes in other places, such as Michigan and Florida. Look at that belly. Holy cow. Spicy. That's good red. Really beautiful. Good looking snakes. Just shot out there. Yeah. I mean, I just. Yeah, I mean, that's what it kind of looks like. It's very good looking. I brought them there for you. Oh, copper. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, right there. Copperhead. All right, guys. There's a copperhead. And I know for all you guys who are herpers out here in. This east. part of town, out east, this is common for you, but for us it is super cool every time we see them. A little bit skinnier of a copperhead, but stunning. Really cool. Woo, that's a big one. Nice. That is so cool. Yes, dude. Look at you! Wow, that is fantastic. Nice orange color. Yeah. That is stunning, dude. You can kind of see its size there. Decent sized copperhead. Jeffrey's got a copperhead right there. Oh! Holy crap! Are you kidding? That thing is white! Guys, take a look at that copperhead. That is so freaking cool. Wow. Alright guys, here's the first copperhead of the day. Right here. Gorgeous. Here's the second copperhead of the day, right there. And, and then we got that is, third one over there that's super pretty. Right here, right in front of me, is yet another copperhead that is just absolutely blended in. And you would like never see that, even though it's sitting on top of this piece of artificial cover. There's a few scattered leaves here and it is just so easy to step on these guys. So if you want to avoid getting bit, wear boots. So a little bit of good footwear and preparation will prevent a bite. But like literally me sitting in this stuff kind of makes me nervous because I'm seeing this here, how blended the snake is. I literally looked at it, stood up, looked up, and I was like, well, where'd it go? And it was didn't even move. I just wanted to take some time with one of these copperheads. We might see a few more. But I just wanted to take a moment with at least one of these guys to uh, really appreciate this animal. So we're gonna put this guy down, keep hiking around and see what else we can find. But copperheads, super cool. Got two big ribbons right here. One little ribbon there. Awesome. We're just getting oh! started. Oh, and he's, he's zipping. Get him! Very cool. You got a mud snake? No, you did not. You did not. The freaking mud.